So in this series of videos, we're going to debunk some of the top myths about the Big Bang. And I'm joined by my co-author on the recently released book, Battle of the Big Bang, the award-winning cosmologist, Niyash Afshordi. So in the last episode, we debunked the widely held belief that Penzias and Wilson were the first to discover the CMB. So let's go to our second myth. This is that the term Big Bang was invented by Hoyle as an insult or a, a sort of form of derision for the theory. Fred Hoyle, who was the architect of the steady state universe, who pejoratively invented the name Big Bang to yeah. describe the universe yeah. beginning in one point. He said that in a pejorative way. The term Big Bang, uh, originally a derisive expression coined by Fred Hoyle. Okay. So you must have heard that a few times, Niash, that Hoyle invented this as an insult. Yeah, I mean, when we were kids growing up, uh, one of the, the commonest stories we would hear is that there was this big fight uh, between the Big Bang and a steady state, and Fred Hoyle, this preeminent uh, astrophysicist in Cambridge, um, thought Big Bang was crazy. In fact, he came up with this way, this, this war to make fun of the theory um, because he really thought universe should be a steady state and expand forever. Nothing should change. So Big Bang was just crazy. That's, <laughs> and that's the, why he came up with that word. That's the myth. But the truth is that there's no evidence at all that Hoyle ever meant it as an insult. What happened was, as I understand it, and there's a great article uh, by the um, historian of cosmology, Helga Krag, called What's in a Name? Um, that's on, on the archive. Um, and he goes into a lot of detail about this. But basically, uh, Hoyle was uh, presenting the two rival theorists, Steady State and Big Bang, on a radio show in 1949 at the BBC. Now, I did contact the BBC and see if I could get the audio and they replied that unfortunately back then they didn't record them. So we have the transcript, but we don't have the audio. Um, but what, but they, Hoyle was interviewed later and here is what he said, quote, I was constantly striving over the radio where I had no visual aids, nothing except the spoken word for visual images. And that seemed to be one of distinguishing, that seemed to be one way of distinguishing between the steady state and the explosive Big Bang. And so that was the language that I used, close quote. So now, Krag actually found where the myth came from. So um, there were these guys, Alpha and Herman. Uh, who were they, Neosh? They were the first people who computed the, the nucleosynthesis, the, the, the creation of light elements like hydrogen, helium, and lithium and, uh, uh, at very early times near the Big Bang. Yeah, and they, they worked for, for Gamow, basically. Um, right. They were either PhD students or postdocs, I can't remember which. But, um, so there's a quote from them. Um, it, this was in a symposium in 1988 in Bologna. Quote, according to Gamow, Hoyle first used this phrase in a pejorative sense during a BBC radio debate with Gamow, close quote. And later on, another quote from them. Towards the end of 1949, Gamow engaged in a transatlantic debate with Hoyle on BBC. It was during this debate that Hoyle first used the designation Big Bang and in a pejorative sense. Uh, but what Krag says to you is that there never was such a debate. It didn't happen. It, it, this debate never occurred. But maybe, so Gamow was a bit of a joker. So maybe he just joked with them that that's what happened. Or maybe he just told the story. Or maybe in his head that's what happened. But what actually happened was that Gamow um, just maybe misremembered it. But Hoyle did say it, but there's no evidence it was ever used as an insult. People have maybe like concluded that because Hoyle was obviously an opponent of the Big Bang, but he was also a popularizer of science and he wanted to explain the ideas. Um, also, here's an interesting fact. The term Big Bang, yes, it came from Hoyle, but the first person to use bang uh, to, to describe this type of evolution of the cosmos, do you know who it was, Niyash? Uh, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> It was Arthur Eddington in 1928. Oh. He said, quote, as a scientist, I simply do not believe that the universe began with a bang. He didn't say Big Bang, but he said bang. And that was in 1928. Just add the one thing, and this is very uh, prophetic, both on the side of, I mean, Hoyle and uh, Eddington, even though neither of them, I guess, believed in the Big Bang. Uh, the bang, the way we think about it is, is that when something makes a big, big voice, a big noise, 
and indeed that noise is uh, right now the, the the sound waves created at the big bang is our most most direct evidence for the existence of the big bang that can be probed with first by the Kobe satellite and now with Planck and WMAP and many other uh, cosmic microwave background ex- experiment where we can actually hear the sounds were created at the big bang. Right. So maybe it is a good phrase. A lot of people don't like it because it implies an explosion from a point, which you know, which is not. But but I like the idea of the sound is what we what we actually probe the sound waves in the early universe. All right. So that's our second myth. Um, if you have any thoughts about this, please like them in the comments and stay subscribed as we bring you more myths of the Big Bang.